Hi everyone, welcome to NetGate Chemistry. So today we are going to start with the topic Craig's Rule. Craig's Rule is applied to non-benzenoid polycyclic systems. Non-benzenoid means benzene ring should not be present and polycyclic means more than one cyclic system in the uh, given molecule. So for Craig's rule to get applied there should be a presence of C2 axis in the molecule. C2 axis means if you rotate the molecule to 180 degree you get same molecule back okay if you rotate the molecule by 180 degree and you're getting the same molecule then that means c2 axis is present in that molecule so if there are 4 n plus 2 number of electrons present in that non-benzenoid polycyclic system then that means that compound is aromatic aromatic compound and if there are 4 n number of electrons present in that non-benzenoid polycyclic system then that means the compound is non-aromatic in nature okay so this is basically your craig's rule now how can we apply that take the system it is having c2 axis okay this is your c2 axis along this axis if you rotate your molecule to 180 degree you'll get the same molecule back and this is a non-benzenoid system it is polycyclic having two cyclic rings so it can follow it come uh, craig's rule can be applied to this so we'll count the number of electrons two four six eight eight electrons that means four in system that means the compound is non-aromatic Five and five moving. Then next we can have five and seven member drinks. This will also be having C two axis. Now we'll count the number of electrons: two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 electrons that means following 4n plus 2 rule that means the compound is aromatic in nature so this is a simple craig's rule which can be applied to polycyclic non-benzenoid systems so now now i want to discuss a little bit about the deltaic acid and squaric acid first i'm going to discuss about deltaic acid the structure is like this this is the structure of deltaic acid if we take out H positive then it will be removed from here and we'll get O negative. This can undergo resonance like this. Okay.
okay this can further undergo resonance okay so due to this these resonating structures what happens this acid is very very stable and it has pka value of about 2.57 so it is very acidic in nature and very stable why stable due to these resonating structures so whenever you find deltaic acid for comparison always remember that it is very acidic in nature next is your squaric acid if you take out h positive h positive is taken out from here so what happens it undergoes resonance like this okay if you further take out h positive what happens it goes out from here and what we get this can further undergo resonance like this this can further undergo resonance like this so this is this is also very much stabilized due to resonance so always remember that deltaic acid and squaric acid these are these are resonance stabilized acids okay so now we can discuss a few examples to find out a given compound is aromatic homo aromatic non aromatic or anti aromatic in nature so first take the example of this compound and now find out whether it is aromatic non aromatic anti aromatic see number of electron uh, first find out um, hybridizations are okay all are sp2 hybridized uh, number of electrons are 2 4 6 six electrons that means follows 4n plus 2 rule it is planar so it is aromatic okay next is this one all are sp2 hybridized planar structure number of electrons are 4 following 4n rule so this is anti aromatic okay this one see it has 4 electrons but here this carbon is sp3 hybridized so this is the case of non aromatic okay this is the case of non aromatic now you know this compound this is furane thio 
fin. Piridine. Now find out about this compounds. So here there are six electrons in resonance. So it is following four n plus two rule. So it is aromatic. Here six electrons are in conjugation. So it is following four n plus two rule. It is also aromatic. here six electrons aromatic but remember whenever there is a lone pair on an atom in a cyclic ring and a double bond is present with that hetero atom then the lone pair are not donated in like these three cases in all these three cases the lone pairs are donated for resonance but in this case lone pair will not be donated in the ring for resonance so whenever there is hetero atom and corresponding to that hetero atom there is unsaturation present so that hetero atom is not going to donate its electrons for resonance so these electrons will not be counted so there will be 2 4 6 6 electrons aromatic okay for these three cases see we just have to see which electrons are undergoing resonance and we have to count only those electrons so here these electrons are undergoing resonance there are six electrons undergoing resonance this is not a part of resonance okay so there are six electrons so it is aromatic here also six electrons are participating so it is aromatic here also six electrons are part, uh, taking part so it is also aromatic so you just have to count the number of electrons which are in resonance this compound just count the number of electrons all the electrons are in conjugation we just have to find out whether this compound can exist as an aromatic compound or not because aromatics are very stable 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 14, 14 electrons following 4n plus 2 rule so it is aromatic in nature so this way you can find out whether the compounds are aromatic or non aromatic anti aromatic or any other category so i think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching